Welcome back to Practicing Hydroponics everyone. As you can see we have the uh, ebb and grow which is a ebb and flow system in place now. We had a very busy weekend this weekend. Not only did we install this system here but we also installed a new power box up here on the wall as you can see which is uh, supporting our, our uh, HID lights, we decided to move them over onto 240 volt electricity versus the 120 to cut down on our consumption. It does take a 30 amp feed uh, in from the power box and uh, is cross connected. So if you're not an electrician, you're not comfortable with that, then obviously you need to have somebody else do that. As you can see also, we changed the routing of our exhaust fan uh, when the room gets too hot. We found that the other way that we had it mounted and hung, it kept tearing down and we're hoping that uh, this new solution uh, will work out well for us and we'll uh, be able to stop repairing that. We used these uh, hooks on the, the grid for the suspended ceiling and some special tape that's used to hang ductwork. It's like a real light fabric tape that doesn't put any stress or strain on the flexible hose, so we're looking forward to seeing that uh, stay up in place. Before we were uh, using baling wire and screws uh, in the ceiling. As you can see, the uh, aeroflow is uh, growing like mad. We actually uh, did a lot of harvesting this weekend and need to do some more. We had our first salad with the arugula. We also took the uh, butter crunch lettuce that was in the power grower and uh, ate that as well. We've had to stake up the basil plant because it's gotten so large. We cut back on the uh, radicchio. The fennel is absolutely taking off like surprise uh, to me. I didn't think it would do well at all, but uh, as you can see, all of the fronds that are now coming out of that. The tomatoes uh, continue to flower, but we uh, don't have any fruit yet. I uh, whacked a good amount of uh, veg off of that, uh, both these two plants this weekend and hopefully we'll see uh, a little bit more uh, energy put into flowers and tomatoes. Down here I've uh, moved two of the yellow pepper plants that were in the aeroflow over into the power drawer. They've actually increased in size about uh, five, six, seven leaves since uh, we moved them on uh, Friday. I also moved a bunch of the parsley plants out of the aeroflow and put it into the power grower. They were just getting overshadowed too much by the, uh, the lettuces that we have growing in there. As you can see, my uh, Roma tomato still uh, doesn't seem to, to want to uh, look healthy for us. It does have flowers on it, but uh, we're not quite sure what's going on with that. I did uh, toss the other one. It just was looking terrible, so I figured while we're moving everything around, uh, that was the one that was in that standalone module. Uh, this one here is the one in the standalone module. The other one I, I pitched. On the, uh, the other side of the room, nothing really has changed, although we did a tremendous amount of rerouting of electrical circuits uh, on Friday as well as today. Uh, we now have eliminated all the extension cords in the room with the exception of one that has to connect into the uh, cap controller for the exhaust fan and we now have uh, one additional circuit in the room to support the ebb and flow uh, system. Grow 3 is uh, still kind of going. We've neglected it a little bit but uh, as you can see the race is still on. The Roma tomatoes are getting quite large. Um, sure to grow has been a little disappointing in this in this grow. As you can see, the uh, romaine lettuce is about the only thing that sprouted. Everything else is not sprouted. Uh, in fact, we're getting some mold and fungus on the top of the uh, the cubes at this point. One thing I have noticed. Uh, that the rock wall cubes retain moisture significantly better than the uh, rapid rooter cubes did. Although we have uh, good plants in each of the mediums, um, the ones that are in the rapid rooter cubes actually, have, I think we have uh, uh, three more in the rapid rooter cubes than we do in, in the, uh, in the uh, rock wall cubes. 
We do actually have our first spinach germinating right there. I am so excited to see that. We also have our first sprout of one coming up in the rapid rooter cube as well. Uh, we'll continue to update you on this grow. We have some seeds selected for our grow four, uh, some white eggplant. Uh, we're going to try a different, uh, different seed of spinach. We have some different tomatoes and some cucumbers and some of those will go into the ebb and flow system. Uh, we're doing a water check on it right now. It did complete the uh, fill cycle so we're waiting now to see what happens with the drain cycle. As soon as we're comfortable with that, we actually have planned uh, half of this system is going to go with sure to grow as a growing medium, the other half hydrogen. What you don't see above it yet is a light. Uh, we do have an LED light coming. Uh, it should be here this week, so look forward to seeing that and we'll update you when it comes. Uh, thanks everyone. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.